Hold up just a minute. Found something uh, in the manual that's quite interesting. Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. I've got an exciting video for you today. No, it's not batteries. Batteries are part of it, but not about batteries. In this box is a 40 amp charge controller. Nice. Battery of power. Sunrock 40S MPPT solar charge controller, 12, 24, 36, or 48 volts. 150 volt max input, nice. And this battery of power controller would be part of your complete solar power solution. So you can see, I've got a little simple diagram for you. If you're wondering where this would be used in your off-grid or solar power system, got your PV, the charge controller goes here, to your battery, to your inverter. Simple little drawing to maybe assist you. If you don't understand where this part would go in your solar power system and i also have the pv ratings right there at different voltages let's see what comes in the box with the charge controller fancy little shiny labeling on there okay so what we got going on we got a manual what's this here a remote temperature sensor for temper temperature compensated charging and let's get the actual controller out Nice foam around it. Oh, heat sink fins on the back. Pretty cool. So here's the unit. The front's got a glass. Feels like glass or some kind of uh, tra transparent plastic on the front. It's like there's a display screen right here. Uh, indicator lights. It's like a user interface button. And then this is magnetic cover for the access and the wire terminals right there now we've got where the temp sensor goes rs45 com port uh, pv input battery output nice thick aluminum heat sinks on the back i mean it's 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 dense it's heavy and let's see what we got here um just warnings and then the same yeah same label as on the box appears to have a nice manual pretty straightforward grammatically correct I like that. Auto recognize voltage. Hold up just a minute. Found something uh, in the manual that's quite interesting. Right here, note, if users need to choose use or LI battery mode, they can only operate through the app. Battery types, flooded, sealed, and jail. Battery type, user specifics. That's if you wanna set your own uh, charge parameters like I usually do on my own stuff only allowed in an app okay so and then battery type lithium only allowed in the app well that's disappointing let's see if that's accurate let me uh let me hook it up to a battery power it up and see if that's in fact the case just put a quick set of test leads in this hooked up the temp sensor hook it up to the your brand here lithium battery see if it powers up okay it powers up reading the correct voltage so let's see what kind of settings are in here see if temperature compensated charging see if the sensor actually works i don't see anything on the sensor it's not moving so maybe that's one of the configurable things that you got to set up must have an internal sensor somehow because that's plugged in and it's not doing anything Right there, refresh the screen so you can see. All right, let's go to the next screen. E00, that's just the alarm setting, which E00 is normal operation. So hold the button. Okay, we can do sealed, jail, flooded. Okay, back to sealed, jail. Flooded, no lithium or user inputs. Let's just hold the button down, which is the input. Okay, nothing. Alrighty then, um, that's a first for controllers I've used where you can't change anything. Let's, I guess, might have to put an app or something on. Hold up. So 
So as you saw in the manual right there, you get three settings unless you download an app. Well, I read into the app. I wasn't going to put it on my main devices. Uh, so I got a backup right here. Google Play, Android phone. Um, just so you know, the apps require your GPS to be on and it collects your internet information and all these different things. So you now those of you that don't like that kind of thing, you know, just, just forewarning you. All right, after emailing the uh, representative for this company a couple of times, yes, you have to use the app to access those settings. So no functionality unless you have a mobile device or using the RS-485 with the Bluetooth device, things like that. That's, that's not what I expect if I purchase something. I expect full functionality out of the box. I don't have to download an app and all that because most of the places where you use these kind of things you're out in the woods with no internet, so if you was to buy this and take it out somewhere and you didn't have any internet on your phone to download an app, what are you going to do? I mean, I guess we could, I mean, that could go through and you could run one of these settings that are close to a lithium setting and let it rip, but I like my lithium batteries custom programmed and this does not um, provide that without having to do extra steps, which I think is bananas. So I tried to put it on this Android device right here. Your device isn't compatible with this version. So that's that's what's going on in my experience with the app. So I tried. Like this controller does not require any apps to program it. So you could take this controller and set it to your custom settings. If you're gonna have a lithium bank, you can set your custom settings in it with no, no apps and stuff like that. Maybe I'm old fashioned, maybe it's me. I mean, I, I do use ProtonMail on my phone. I do VPNs, firewalls, uh, you know, DuckDuckGo, all that. I don't like apps on my devices. So, I mean, if you like apps and all that stuff, you know, you know, go for it. But I like it right here. I can adjust it on the fly. So if I took this out to somebody's house, out in the middle of nowhere, like my house, I can set this up and run it. Right here, not so much. So if you don't mind your GPS, being you know your location being tracked through whatever device for your charge controller uh, and your internet permissions being provided to the third party app and all this jazz you're into apps and having apps all over your phone and whatever hey this might might work out great for you but in all fairness it appears to be a quality unit but without adjustability without having to use an app it's a deal killer for me if you're into techie stuff and you don't mind all them apps and all this jazz on your phone yeah, this may work out great for you I'm, I'm assuming it probably is a decent controller it's it's thick it's heavy duty i'm not going to use this one i'm going to offer it to some local preppers in the area see if they need it but knowing that they're going to have an app on their phone they're probably not going to like it either but hey it is what it is different strokes for different folks baby uh appreciate your battery of power uh sorry i couldn't use it um maybe you can maybe modify one with some buttons where people that are weird like me can use it. But anyhow, appreciate y'all watching Off-Grid Mountain Homestead. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a like from you. Hope you learned something about this controller, about other controllers, maybe a couple little things here and there. Uh, until next time, I'll be here to good don't go. Y'all have a good day.